Energy Fit is a private business enterprise whose parent company is Deposit Energy Pty Ltd. Energy Auditing Service, running simulations and home energy efficiency solutions is its key deliverables. High demand for energy efficient solutions among renters across Australia. However, many tenants are unable to afford their upfront cost of living in Australia. The problem can be a market opportunity for the product prototype as it would help Australian renters to lower their cost of living through reduced energy consumption at homes. The persona for the proposed product prototype is an average income tenant living in a rental property in Australia. It is simply a bucket of white paint that can be painted on the interior walls as well as the outside walls of a house and on the rooftop. The paint bucket comes with a spray-like tube and a brush which will be used for painting the house. The choice of brush is up to the customers. Customers simply need to order the paint from the company's website or physical store and it will be delivered to the preferred location of the the inspiration for the prototype has been acquired from a design graduate named Kuk Bong Kim, who has created an innovative paint but kept the product design as simple as possible. During the ideation phase, lateral thinking led to the development of various ideas from which the final product prototype has been developed. According to the theory of prototyping, when a prototype is more tangible, it facilitates interaction, creativity and communication, as it helps to create a direct link between thoughts and actions. The developed prototype is a more tangible one, which helps in better communicating the idea behind this. The prototype addresses the legal consideration by complying with the standards of paint quality and it is designed in a manner that does not hurt the sentiments of any individual. The prototype is sustainable as its container will be made of silicon. The paint itself is a non-toxic and developed in an ethical manner. The labelling of the paint does not contain any abusive language, signs or symbols that hurt the sentiments of any individual. The material for the products will be sourced mostly from waste that affect the environment adversely. These materials will then be processed in energy fit labs to produce the final product. The concretes will be sourced from the construction site. Graphene will be sourced from the automotive exhaust smokestacks and other graphitic places. Silicon tubs will be sourced from ethically sustainable societies. The paint can be painted on the wall of a house, both inside and outside, using a paintbrush slash spray. It can be used as a base paint and a colour paint can be used as a top coat for the wall. The product itself is sustainable as it is made of graphene and waste concrete powder. The paint will be will help in maximising carbon absorption through the expansion of the surface area which comes in direct contact with CO2 in the air. It will be white in colour as a white coating paint when applied on the undercoat concrete helps save in helps in saving 13 to 14 kilowatts per metre squared of roof area. Annually corresponding to savings of the cooling energy by 10% to 19%. Such a paint and such unique features are not offered by any paints in the market yet. The paints can be used to base. The market trends and needs show that the product will be quite feasible in Australian markets, as it is a high demand for energy efficient solutions among renters across Australia. The product is also capable of absorbing 20% of its weight in carbon. It absorbs CO2 as a tree absorbs CO2 per day and the low energy consumption and thus low energy rental bills. The forecaster demand has been estimated through the use of forecasting tools. Moreover, the higher the number of renters looking for energy efficient homes is a significant indicator of high demand for the product. This implies there is a high demand for the product. The product offers unique features at economic pricing that is not offered by competitors. Since the product is new organizational people need to develop sufficient knowledge about the product to better assist their customers. 
product failure while developing, exceeding budget, and the inability of the finished product to cater to its purpose are some of the risk factors associated with the product development.